Hello there fellow car enthusiasts. Today I will be showing you how to emulate a rolling shot on Photoshop. So the first thing that I like to do is make a copy of the background. So using Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac, you can go ahead and copy the background. And then what you want to do is use the pen tool to make an outline of the car, including the shadows. And um, I'm going to probably make this part fast in the video because you don't need to see it. And you've got better things to do with your lives. So we can go to right click, click make the selection, and select that, and then do another control J so we just have the Ferrari. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put a path blur on layer one. So to do that, you're just going to go to filter, blur gallery, path blur. Um, and then what we're going to be doing, it's going to start out by default with just a 90 degree path blur. And what we want to do is we want to have the arrow pointing to where the vehicle is headed and the back from the source. So you want to start from the source and drag out to where the car is going when you drag in new arrows. So start from the source and drag out. Kind of making an array, a vector array. I don't know what I'm saying. But you know what I'm trying to convey here is that you're making um, several lines all pointed in the same direction of movement. At this point you have your blur. It's not bad. So you can go ahead and apply the blur that you set up. It's going to take a little while. Okay. So now it looks like that part is moving, but the wheel is still. So in order to fix the wheel, you're going to have to create several new layers. So for the layer above, you can go ahead and select the tire and the wheel. You could use this circle part. I, I'll just do the pen tool, but I'm sure there's other ways to select the tire and wheel. You can select that other wheel. So now we've got the wheel selected. What we're gonna do to the wheels is apply a spin blur. So, go back to the blur gallery and select the spin blur make sure we're applying it looks like right now we're applying the spin blur for the back wheel um, so we can kind of adjust these parameters for it and wrap that blur right around the wheel so right now you can see with the blur angle we're only at 15 degrees but if we go up to Let's see, 45 degrees will have a much stronger blur. I see, do you like carry your water? Yep. Hmm? No, I'm making an editing tutorial. Oh. Are you like No, that's this? all right. You're recording right now? Yeah, that's fine. I apologize, I did not know that. That's okay. The little red light was not on. We'll go ahead and do the same for the front. Put it around. 40 some degrees and then close in the blur, make it more precise. You may notice that we are totally losing detail in the brake caliber. The brake caliber would not be spinning normally, but that's why we kept another version unmodified so that we, we can go back in and using um, layer masks, we can get back the detail in the brake caliber. Great. At this point, if you look back, it looks like we have a fairly, fairly realistic um, moving car other than, you know, where I messed up the blur on the top. So if you want, you could stop here. You get the idea. What I'm going to do at this point is pretty much clean it up using layer masks and things like that. So for the blurred background, you know, in a photo, the very back would not be blurred as much as the foreground would. So what we can do to remedy that is use something like a layer mask.
mask. So go ahead and just create a new layer mask and a gradient. So if we use it coming from the, the source, and maybe we won't have have it be black all the way because we want we want the backs to still be a little bit blurry. We can kind of make that a little bit more realistic. So now you see in the very back, those trees aren't blurry because they wouldn't be blurry in, um, in the actual photo. And another thing we can do is we can kind of take this brush with a low flow and a little hardness and soften up the trees and skies because those trees in the photo are pretty far away so it wouldn't be like as blurry. And the sky doesn't appear to be blurry but you know it wouldn't be blurry either. So we can go ahead and add some detail back to those trees. Um, then as for the brake calibers, what we can do here is, but pretty much we can use a brush, like we can just create a layer mask here and kind of like get some of those circles back. Anyways, you can see now like it looks a little bit more like a realistic wheel. Um, you can clean up that bit underneath the car just using simple layer masks as well. You can even, even touch up the sides of the cars a little bit. Um, so that way the sides of the cars are slightly blurry. That gets pretty complicated. You can like smooth them out a little bit. Yeah, it's like new level stuff. If you look at this result, it's not, it's not great, but you can get the essence that we have created a rolling shot of likes. Something that looks like the car is moving from a still shot, just using Photoshop. You know, there's definitely a lot that I still have to learn. If you think there's a better method, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you around.